Hello my dear friends, today's video is entitled Prepping for Groceries. We have something that we do on a weekly basis as part of our basic weekly plan which is planning and desk day. Part of planning and desk day is food. That's got, I've got food, finance, inbox, and planner. Those are the four parts. So I allot, allot you about 30 minutes after you've done it a couple of times because it takes a little longer in the beginning to get used to all these things or you might have had a backup of things that you need to do. But after you've gone through it a couple of times then it'll be pretty easy to get each of those four sections done in approximately 30 minutes, maybe less, maybe a little bit longer. So we're going to work on food first and that is prepping for groceries basically and prepping for making your, your menu. So the first thing you're going to do in prepping for food is open the, frid the refrigerator. And you're going to need a garbage can, and you're going to need a cloth with some nice warm water on it, maybe soapy water, maybe some Mrs. Myers, whatever, uh, maybe Dawn that you've just put, this, put it in the soapy water and wrung it out. Maybe you've got a little bowl with you with that in it, not too soapy, mainly water. Wring it out. And the first thing you're going to do before you do that, let your, let your cloth soak, you're going to take out anything that's garbage. So first, just start at the top on the left, work, work over to your right, and then work your way down on each shelf and then hit the doors. So the first thing you're going to do is say, is it still good? Has it expired? If it's expired or it's no good for whatever reason, garbage. If it's liquid, like bad milk, you can put it down the drain, make sure that you run the water. If there's any globs in it, get that out, put it in the garbage can with a paper towel. Throw that container away. If you find something that has growth on it, the whole thing goes in the garbage. If you have a pickle jar with one measly pickle in it, eat the pickle and throw the juice down the drain and throw it in the garbage. If you're recycling, fine, rinse it and put it in your recycles, but please don't spend a lot of time doing this, especially in the beginning because you're going to have way, way too much stuff, okay? Um, if you have a jelly jar with jelly all over it, wipe it down. Wipe the circle where it was sitting. If you have a place where milk has spilled, wipe the milk. Now when you've done that top shelf, you're going to organize that top shelf. And you're going to say, okay, on this shelf I have whatever it is. I'm going to put these things together here. They're all like things like dairy or um, condiments, or um, cheese, or lunch meat, or desserts, or leftovers, or fruit, or fresh vegetables. Everything goes together. So maybe some of those belong in drawers, like meat and or cheese, fruits and or vegetables. Um, and if you're preparing for fresh food, my, now we're not cleaning the refrigerator, but we're doing a little micro clean lift the food out of that drawer, give it a wipe, and put a fresh paper towel down in there and put it back in. It'll look so much nicer and everything will be better and you'll discover what might be melting in the drawer. Maybe some old plums have dried up in there or a peach has just dissolved into your drawer or a zucchini is bad for doing that. Okay, now let's talk about your leftovers. How long have they been in there? I don't recommend that you keep leftovers in your refrigerator for more than three days. So if you have leftover spaghetti that's four days old, maybe you'll eat it, I won't. Um, I would dump that in the garbage and put this in soapy water in the sink to soak. If I had forgotten about something that was in there, I will throw that piece away. That little piece that costs 99 cents to buy two at Walmart, uh, the Walmart brand, um, throw it away. You know, you're throwing away 50 cents, it's true, and money is money, but it's not worth your time. See, we have to remember our time is worth money. It's not worth your time to have something that's super gross that makes you gross out that you don't want to really deal with anyway. Just slip it in the garbage. Don't think about it again. You probably have more Tupperware than you know what to do with. Okay, I personally just bought some more yesterday. I spent $3. I bought four containers that were flat square for 98 cents for two. And I bought some with screw top, two with screw top little bowls, and they were two dollars and something. I don't usually buy them, but occasionally I do, and occasionally I throw some out because I just it's too gross. I don't want to deal with it, and it might not even be that I forgot about it. Although I am you, and I do do that as well. So look and see if you need to throw it away. Please, I give you permission to throw it away. All right. Next thing you're going to do is wipe everything down. Look in your door, 
doors and see if anything in there has expired or maybe it's just crusty and needs to be washed off a little bit. You're preparing for your groceries. You're also preparing for your week's menu. So you're going to say, wow, okay, I need milk, I need eggs, I need cottage cheese, I need some more Velveeta, I need whatever you need, okay? Then you're going to say, oh, you know what? I've got leftover macaroni and cheese from yesterday. I'm going to put that in my meal tomorrow. We'll have ham with that. Ham and green beans and macaroni and cheese or whatever, I know, whatever you do with your macaroni and cheese. But you know, you have something in there, you want to use that up. So plan it, put it on your menu. Don't let it waste. Um, it might be green beans. It might, I, I like to cook vegetables in advance and have leftover vegetables for a day or two. That's good for me. It's easy and to make fresh green beans or fresh zucchini or whatever it is. It's already cooked and then they're ready to go. Um, but that might not be your style. I didn't do that when my children were, were coming up. I made fresh every day. So it's up to you. Uh, and not necessarily fresh. It might be frozen. It might be canned. But I made my vegetables every day for the kids. Okay, next is, oh, check your salad because it gets gross pretty fast too. Your baby carrots, your dressings. Check them. Make sure they're still good. All right, so you're, you're getting some snack ideas. You're getting some dinner ideas. You're getting some breakfast ideas. Um, oh, you've got a thing of blueberries. You totally forgot about those. You need to use those up this week. Let's have that with some yogurt or let's have that on our oatmeal or let me make some blueberry muffins. Let's use those blueberries up or just eat them in a bowl. Let's use them up and then let's look in the freezer and do the same thing. So when you get in your freezer, in your kitchen freezer, in your refrigerator freezer, um, you're not, I'm not going to ask you to wipe down there unless there's an obvious problem because it's going to stick to it and all that stuff. It's not, we're not deep cleaning. We're just, the, the top is where you're going to do that. All right, now we're going to open it up and we're going to arrange things. Let's get all our meat together and put it on one side. So I like to get my meat together, not just meat, but I like to get the meat organized so that I have it in, in, in containers or in areas. For example, I take loin pork chops and I put them in individual Ziplocs, not freezer Ziplocs, but I'll take the serving for Larry and I would be two, and I put it in a regular Ziploc, and I'll get four or five of those in a big package, and then those all go in a gallon freezer bag, and I write on them the date that I put them in there and what they are, and that goes together. Instead of having just a thing, a whole thing of pork chops that I'm not gonna ever use um, or not know where it is, it's right there. And any other pork products, maybe I have pork ribs or whatever, that's going to go next to that. Then I put all my chicken together. And I do similar things with chicken. If I buy chicken breasts, I put them in individual Ziploc baggies in a zipper bag with a title and a date. That goes there. So it's easy to get out the, the amount you need. And even if your family eats more than two, and only two will fit in the bag, maybe you know you eat four, you pull two bags out. It's easier to defrost them when they're in smaller packages like that and they're not stuck together because they're in individual packets or packets of two, individual packets of two. Um, then you're going to do ground beef. You could do the same way with patties. Just put the patties, maybe two patties in a Ziploc bag with a, pe with a, piece, of, um, with a piece of parchment paper or wax paper between them and then freeze them in a, in a regular bag and put those several sets in a big Ziploc bag. Put the date in the, in the thing. If you have a giant family and you always eat up a whole bunch of stuff and you're going to just thaw out the whole package, then it's not a problem. But for smaller families, this would be a good idea. Um, but basically you're keeping your beef together. So your beef patties, your ground beef or different things like spaghetti or um, meatloaf or, or Salisbury steak. And then maybe you've got uh, a roast or something like that in there, some steaks. Those would all be in the beef area. So you get those together. And then you're going to put your vegetables, if you have frozen vegetables, together. So I like to put those together. I like to put the broccoli with the broccoli, the corn with the corn. I like to try to keep it organized so I can keep an idea of what I've got in there. And as I'm doing this, especially this time that you're doing it for the first time and making a little inventory for yourself, you're going to be able to say, oh, I can make this and 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 start writing those ideas down. Even if you get a month's worth of meals, you can use some of those this week when you're making your menu. Or you can make a menu for a month. It doesn't matter. Don't buy for a month, though, but you have this in your repertoire. It's in here. Next, you're going to check for frozen fruits. Where do you keep those? Uh, how about your sweets, like um, ice cream or frozen yogurt or popsicles or frozen pie or whatever it is you have? 
those keep keep those in a different place frozen muffins maybe things you've made um, and then also you're going to have a place for pre-made meals meals that you've made or purchased so maybe you bought a Stouffer's lasagna and you made a shepherd's pie and those go in one area okay now you can look at your at your menu and you can look at your inventory of what's in there and you can make your menu that's prepping for food if you don't prep you're going to go to the store and buy more of what you may already have I've done it you've done it let's not do it anymore it's a waste of time space and energy all right so that's how you prep for food I hope this was helpful and I hope that you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful